Drag 101 with Katya, a theoretical exploration of the art and science of drag. Episode 12, Tuesday Morning Lecture, Branding, Total Domination of the Global Marketplace. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katya. Welcome back to Drag 101. This week, we are going to dive headfirst and footlong into the wonderful world of branding in the digital age. <gasps> This week, we're gonna do a lot of whale noises. Your online presence is 10 times more important than your actual physical body. Creating, managing, and updating content on the World Wide Web is crucial in the life of a modern entertainer. When I started doing drag, we didn't have any of this stuff. There was no Facebook, there was no Twitter, there was nothing. We had to make phone calls on the telephone. We had to go to the town square and, and shout about our shows. We, there was even an urban legend back in Boston where one entertainer faked her own death and then popped out of the casket of her funeral and demanded tips while she lip synced to Every Day is a Winding Road by Sheryl Crow. That is the kind of innovation that we need to apply to social media. With just three swipes and one click of my smartphone, I can start an argument online with another entertainer that can cause a spike in my popularity. If we dig a little deeper, we find out that the real magic of social media lies in the fact that it highlights one of the most challenging parts of the human condition. How do we manage the discrepancy between what we are and who we'd like to be? So if you've ever stared in the mirror at 3 a.m. on Mescaline, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Luckily, with Facebook and Twitter, it's a little more whimsical. When you scroll through my Twitter timeline, what do you see? A woman of grace and dignity? A complex female character. Someone who is erudite, resourceful, complicated, compelling. If you come to my house, you'd probably see like a blind raccoon humping a television over a tarp littered with Pringles. But with social media, I get to control and develop and disseminate the image that I want people to see. Everybody gets to, we get to um, curate our life in a neat and organized way for people to observe and say, Oh, that person looks really put together. They're doing a great job. I'd really like to go smell his armpit or, you know, whatever. You know, as a promotional tool, practically, yeah, people need to know where you're gonna be. I'm performing at the Shake Shack at 3 p.m. in the parking lot with Tiffany, you know, Becky and Barbara. You need to be consistent. You need to upload at least one picture of yourself looking good and having fun every day, unless you're miserable and that's your thing. Be sure to include a post with a spelling error so that you seem relatable. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Tumblr, YouTube, Xtube, Chatterbait, Google Plus. That's, is that gone? That went away. Good. You gotta keep, you gotta have, have to stay mentally organized. So you have to say to yourself, okay, I'm only gonna interact in this particular way on this platform. So Facebook is for political rants and um, passive aggressive um, cries for help. Twitter is all about comedy and finding pot. I only, I, I wanna laugh and I wanna find pot on Twitter. Instagram is just about like shoulders, like pouting, pouty shoulders. Chatterbait again is just for masturbating and then Tumblr is for people who uh, don't wanna be satisfied with anything. Facebook has a wide demographic. People have a big attention span on Facebook, so you can kind of cover a lot of bases. You can start out with a passive aggressive rant about something vague, but then you can end in like a, a cheerful um, political exhortation, like a call to action. And then you can like comment on your own post and look for a babysitter. Just 10 years ago, I could convince myself that I'm great. You know, I'm really good. I've got it, uh, I'm doing a great job, um, but now you can't do that. What is special about your website? Okay, now we know that if you log onto the web, do you have a computer? I didn't have a computer until I was 30. I have a computer in every room. I have a computer in every room. I have TVs. I got TVs stacked on top of each. I don't, plasma, flat screen, it's, Where's, where's the, 
Technology has to have a heft to it, okay? And you know, they say everything's gonna be faster and lighter and smoother. That's not the way the world works and that's not how life works. Nobody, nobody, I mean, physical paper, what are you, like a magistrate? You know what I mean? It's, it's if you are uh, Leonardo da Vinci, you know, Theodore Magellan or um, Benjamin Franklin, you know, those people are dead. A few things you wanna steer clear of are encouraging people to kill themselves. Racism across the board is just not very, not good, for, it's bad for business. Well, don't read the comments ever. Here's what you have to, you have to visualize, especially if you have a fan base, it could be three people, it could be 3,000, whatever. If you have a fan base, this is what you need to visualize. You live in the castle, okay? And you're not able to navigate all those stone stairways because of your weight and that's, you're, that's fine. Listen, would you, would you, um, would you, would you slap a baby for not knowing anything? <laughs> would you do that? I mean, I, I've, I've done it, but I, I wouldn't, you know, you don't do it. So when a troll comes after you and tries to, you know, tries to say something hurtful or ignorant, you just say, oh, that's a baby. You know, but I'm not gonna slap a baby because that's wrong, but I am gonna enjoy my rolls. It's all bread and butter. That's a good mantra. I have the bread, moving on. Thanks so much for watching. Join us next week where I will have a very special guest who will ask a bunch of rhetorical questions and then leave the room. Drag 101 with Katya every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, honey. I don't think that, well, I don't think that these are helpful at all.